welcome to my exhibition, The World of Jane Austen Stitched. Um, this is an in-studio exhibition that I'm putting on here in my studio in Portsmouth. Um, it's part of Portsmouth Book Fest and it's all about the different themes in Jane Austen's work. Um, so it's been gone, going on for four days over part of Bookfest, but I thought I'd also do this video and put together a little bit of information on my website for all of you who I know don't live nearby and couldn't get down to see the exhibition. So this exhibition marks the halfway stage of about a two year project that I'm doing about the world of Jane Austen. So eventually I hope the illustrations that you'll see here will form part of of a book. I'm about halfway through on those illustrations. I've done 12, got three in progress and I think I probably need about 24 in total. So as you can see I've got a little bit more work to do. Each of the illustrations is made out of mixed media textiles. So that is layers of appliqued fabric, so little scraps of fabric with embroidery, both machine and hand embroidery. I've also used some other techniques in these illustrations, a little bit of fabric paint, some ink tense pencils, um, there's also a lot of beading and ribbons involved as well. In June last year, I created what I thought was a single piece, a mini quilt featuring the key features of the novel Pride and Prejudice as an example of commissioned work that I do. So I loved making this piece and when it was completed, um, I was compelled to take some of the elements from it and I wanted to work them up into larger pieces of work, in larger illustrations adding more detail and more texture in a larger scale. And these turned into two of the theme works, and that is the country estate and the militia images. They're both from that original Pride and Prejudice uh, mini quilt. So while completing the two larger illustrations, I reacquainted myself with Jane Austen's work, um, all of the stories, um, while my head was filled with dancing and the scandalous elopements and the delights of places like Bath and London, um, I basically got a bit carried away and knew I had to continue this project on. But instead of deciding to do more illustrations based on the actual books, so um, I did the Pride and Prejudice quilt, but I thought actually what I'd prefer to do is I've always loved costume and I've loved social history, so I decided to base it more on the sort of recurring themes in her work to bring together all of those things as a, a kind of portrait of the Regency world. Um, all of the pieces in this exhibition are made using a specific colour scheme and fabric texture which are all based on one fabric. It's part of the Tiger Lily series um, collection by Heather Ross. So I found this fabric when I was designing the first um, part I did on this project, the Pride and Prejudice quilt, and it had the modern feel I was looking for. I loved the floral subject, I thought that fitted really well into the Regency theme. And importantly, it also included some of the colours that I knew would be in the, the quilt. So that was the yellow and green and brown of the like, country estates and cottages, and also the uh, kind of went well with the like vibrant red that I knew would have to be there in the militia's uniforms. So those colours being involved um, were really important. Um, I just really loved the fabric. I thought it was modern and fitting with that Regency theme. So I decided to base the whole quilt uh, around that fabric and I paired all of the other colours to match that one fabric. Matched this also with a neutral coloured natural cotton and a range of rich golds, reds and oranges. Um, you might, might see notably I have avoided using any of the cooler tones, that's blues or purples. So it's led to a really warm um, coloured scheme for this uh, piece. So when I decided to continue the project, so from that first um, illustration of Pride and Prejudice to a series of illustrations which has formed this exhibition, I decided to also keep that colour scheme and went searching for additional fabric, so not just the ones that I've used for that, but also ones that also fit into that tight brief. Um, in addition to the restrictions in colour that I put myself under, I also had to find fabric that had a very small print because these uh, illustrations are very, very uh, small, I couldn't have any fabrics that had a large like floral print on them. Um, and I also wanted to uh, find fabric that had a really interesting texture that will be picked up when they're photographed for the eventual book. So most of this texture comes from things like velvets. I've used quite a lot of double gauzes, so that's got the different layers um, in it, and you can see those visible woven threads when they're photographed. 
So I'm really pleased with the overall effect um, of the colour scheme and the fabric choices from these restricted materials and I think it makes all of the pieces hang together really well. Um, the colours and print are modern enough to appeal to a modern audience so when you look at them you, you don't um, think they look old fashioned but at the same time I think those natural fabrics and the colours um, do set the context of history in that Regency period as well. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a very brief tour of the exhibition so you can get an idea of what my studio was set up like. So this is the main part of the exhibition, the 12 themed illustrations about the recurring themes in Jane Austen's work. So there's lots of things that have been depicted from bulls to horse riding to depictions of the clergy. These are all the um, mixed media textile artworks um, put together here in a collection. So if you follow it round, we've then got a table. Um, I've got some prints that there that are for sale. There's the Pride and Prejudice quilt. That's that first one that I did. Um, a portrait of Jane Austen and some information about the colour scheme. That's what I've told you about already in this video. Following it round, we've also got a section on characters and work in progress. I'll talk about those in a second. And when we follow it round, um, here is the rest of the artwork um, that's usually in my studio. So this is the character section. Um, I have done a series of character illustrations, hand embroidered from references from my favourite adaptations of Jane Austen's work. So the two that I've chosen um, are the 1995 Pride and Prejudice TV adaptation and the 1995 Sense and Sensibility adaptation. Um, those are the characters represented here. I've got Darcy um, and Elizabeth from Pride and Prejudice and um, Eleanor and Colonel Brandon from Sense and Sensibility. Then we come on to a section about works in progress. So these are three works that are in addition to the 12 illustrations I've already done. As I said earlier, I need 24 for the final book. So these are ongoing. There was a little bit about servants. Um, there's a one playing whist, so card games, and this one, which is about um, bonnets, different types of bonnets. Another piece that is in the exhibition is a small portrait that I've done of Jane Austen based on portraits of her um, over the years. Um, so this is all hand embroidered on a double gauze background and um, I've changed the colours from what was blue in the or original that I've um, taken the likeness from and I've changed all of the tones to yellow to match in with the colour scheme. Okay I think that's it for the tour. Um, I hope that's given you a good idea about the exhibition and the project. For more information or to buy prints or greetings cards of the work, head over to my website www.stitchbookstudio.com. Some of the original pieces are also for sale and contact me for information about those. And then you can look out for more information in the next few months as I continue this project and hopefully within the next year or so have completed all 24 illustrations or however many I end up doing um, and then I can bring that out as a book. Thank you for watching.